YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. Now I was going to sit down and record another video. Actually, I'm going to be recording a ninja deck. So get ready for that video coming out pretty soon here. But um, before I sat down to do that, I actually had the recording on and I was getting ready to do my intro for that video. And I found out that the new Gladiator B structure deck is out and it let me take a look at it. So I took a look at it and I gave made a little, quick little review. And uh, yeah, I put it together for you boys to enjoy. So enjoy that my boys. And as always, keep it dank. Ah uh, yes, my boys, we have now returned to dual world and I've got something to say. Looks like we're gonna be getting a new structure deck, my boys, coming up really soon here. One of these new, oh snap, what, that, what? Nani, did you see that? Oh, did you see that? Were we really supposed to see that? Hold on a second. Oh, there it is, it's right there. Hold on, it's right there. It's here already. Oh snap! Gladiator B Storm is here. I thought that this was on the way, but it's actually here already. Okay, wow. So now you're gonna get a quick little review of Gladiator Beast uh, Storm. I did not know that it was actually out yet, but I'm gonna give you a quick review and we're gonna talk about these cards and have a little impromptu video right here. Uh, yeah. So I'm very excited for this deck. I mean, you guys already know that I was already looking for and expecting um, for them to actually have Gladiator Beast Monsters updated in Duel Links at some point. And I knew the cards we were missing were these three cards. Gladiator Beast Gazaris, Test Tiger, and Gladiator Beast War Chariot. Now, the thing about these three cards is that they are so powerful right now. I feel like that these three cards are definitely going to bring Gladiator Beast out uh, from obscurity and at least make them competitively viable. If not a tiered deck, because the powers of Gladiator Beast Gazarus is incredible. This monster can do a contact fuse with any two Gladiator Beasts. One has to be uh, Bestiari though. And when you make this contact fusion, you can destroy two cards. This card comes out, you can destroy any two cards on the field. Now, since you can destroy any two cards on the field, clearly, you know, destroying monsters, destroying back row, that's always gonna be really good, of course. But the combo killer, the reason why this card is incredible is because after it attacks, you can special summon two Gladiator Beasts from your deck and basically get the effect to destroy two more cards. So potentially, with two monster cards, you can destroy up to five cards you can destroy two cards with Gazarus' effect, one card with Gazarus' attack, and then two cards with the Gladiator Beast that you special summon after the attack. That is meta changing. That's a game changing combo. And it only takes two cards and the opportunity to swing. It's an, impos it's an impossibly powerful card. And I can't wait to get in here with this card. Now also, we're gonna look at this card too, Test Tiger. Test Tiger is a combo card. Pretty much it can special summon a Gladiator Beast with its effect activated. But the crazy thing about it is, Test Tiger has always proven to be a card that, even though it's very powerful, it can be uh, corrupted. You can mess up this combo, you can break this combo. Enemy controller, Pelezoic Kanadia, whatever so basically you summon your gladiator beast special summon test tiger tribute test tiger to select your gladiator beast send it back to the deck and then special summon the gladiator beast monster and you get its effect off so the main idea is to either use this card to basically help you special summon gazaris or use this card to special summon 
out Sector and attack and special summon two gladiator beasts. With that just being said, Test Tiger, it might be a one of in this deck. So I think you might, for the Test Tiger, you only really need one. Also, Glare Beast War Chariot. This is another card, two of or three of is gonna be the question. Me personally, I think you should run three. So maybe you should get three of this structure deck, especially if you don't have um, Unexpected Die. But Glare Beast War Chariot can just straight up negate a uh, monster's effect and destroy it. And because, actually, oh man, I, I can't, I think it's Gladiator Beast Equestus. I, I don't, I gotta actually show it to you right now. Yes. And with Gladiator Beast Equesty, when this card is special summon, you can select any Gladiator Beast card and add it back to your hand, meaning you can grab War Chariot back and add it to your hand. So, without Main Phase 2 again, this is one of those depowered combos. But even without Main Phase 2, it's still an amazing move. So I think definitely yes, for sure. Can't wait to use Gladiator's War Chariot in Duel Links, man. It's gonna be incredible. And also now we have a new Gladiator Beast card, Gladiator Beast Sagittari. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, okay. And I like this, okay. It says, if this card is special summoned by the effect of a Gladiator Beast monster, you can discard one Gladiator Beast card and draw two cards. Oh, marvelous. So at the end of the battle phase, if this card battle, you can shuffle this card into deck and special summon Gladiator Beast. Okay, so there is now draw power in the Gladiator Beast. Wow, that is incredible. Okay, so you have this new card. You have Gladiator Beast War Chariot, Gladiator Beast Gazarus, and Test Tiger, and now Unexpected Die has come accessible to all mankind through a structure deck. Now you can Unexpected Die into Andel, Normal Summon, Contact Fuse Go, Destroy, Destroy, Cardo Set. My boys, the time has come. Now take these Gladiator Beast powers and go forth and never miss. I don't need that energy around me. I just need sun, you're so cloudy. I wake up good, you're so grouchy. Please get from around me.